What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to MMO's World. We're bringing you another recap of all the major MMO news that happened throughout the week, so sit tight and soak it in. We're starting the news this week with The Elder Scrolls Online, who has brought back the much-troubled Undaunted event to the game after weeks and weeks of delay since December last year. Anyway, the Undaunted event is running. It has started on January the 9th, and it will be going on till January 13th, bringing new rewards for Tamriel's Brave Dungeon Delvers. So during this event... All you need to do is take part in any dungeon in the ESO game using the Dungeon Finder tool or by traveling to a dungeon with your group on normal and veteran difficulty. When you defeat a dungeon's final boss during the Undaunted event, it will drop a special Undaunted reward box in addition to the usual loot. In these containers, you can discover all kinds of useful and valuable items such as Undaunted Keys, Undaunted Plunder, which are gear, motive pages, repair kits, transmute crystals, writing lessons even, and so much more. It's time to get into the thick of the war because Black Desert Mobile's latest update has included Guild Wars and the new exciting Ancient Ruins expansion. Guild War is a massive PvP mode where guilds can fight each other in combat areas. Guild Masters and Guild Officers can de declare war by simply finding enemy guilds using the in-game guild window. All guild members are automatically enlisted and the war remains active for 48 hours. The war ends once a guild acquires more than 30,000 guild points which are awarded each time an opposing guild member is defeated. As for the Ancient Ruins, the difficulty levels have gone up with the expansion of Chambers 6 and 7. There's a new collaborative battle mode for the Ancient Ruins now that allows adventurers with higher combat points to challenge an even more powerful Kabua Miles and receive better rewards when defeating these Ancient Warriors. Moving on now, World of Dragon Nest, a new MMORPG for players in Southeast Asia, has launched this week. It is the first open-world MMORPG based on the popular IP from Nexon, and the game went live for iOS and Android devices on January 8th. World of Dragon Nest features five classic classes, a deep lore, story, action combat, and a large cast of NPC characters from the series. From a content standpoint, you will see open-world questing, PvE dungeons, PvP siege battles, and even life skills like fishing and other crafting stuff if you need a break from your adventures. Elsewhere, Yuzu Games and GT Arcade has some good news for League of Angels fans because they have just announced something big and it's a new MMORPG called League of Angels Heaven's Fury. Heaven's Fury drops you into a fantastical world just as the gods have fallen from grace and into the corrupt hold of Pandora's box. Your job? Reclaim it. Throughout this epic MMORPG adventure, you will discover plenty of features centered around innovative PvE and PvP modes offering a divine experience for League of Angels fans. There's a traditional story with a very familiar storyline putting you on the front line of the battle for the heavens. You'll choose from three legendary heroes, the Mighty Dragoon, the Mage, or the Deadly Archer, with more coming post-launch. Right now, you can pre-register for the game on the official website, so get ready for launch. And finally this week, things are getting interesting in Wargaming's popular World of Tanks MMO. The game has just announced a brand new event called the Dawn of Industry, which goes live on the 16th of January. Prepare your clan and rework your loadouts because Dawn of Industry will bring brand new mechanics with awesome rewards. Two fresh mechanics are introduced, like the Craft Machine, which will help you get the antique Tier 7 to Tier 8 premium tanks, and the Experimental Modules, which will boost the performance of your vehicles, thanks to a special consumable that will enhance their characteristics during one battle. And that wraps up our MMO news recap for the week. For more MMO news as it happens, check out our website at mmosworld.com. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you soon. Take care.